Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been absent for a few months now because of everything that was going on in June. I did not feel that it was appropriate to make a video about myself, so I did make a video that has a link to several, actually more than several, um, charities and petitions that are for issues around the world and even national in the United States. Um, it is very important that we keep talking about the issues at hand because they are still alive. Just because we had a week of, you know, showing that we were standing in solidarity and protesting doesn't mean the work is done. There are still a lot of things going on in the world that need our attention. So if you want, please go to my last video and go into the description and find a cause or a charity or a petition that you would like to get involved with. I'm going to try and keep updating it as much as I can. Um, as for May, I needed to take a month off because my dog Butch died. So um, it was a very hard month for me because <laughs> if you're a subscriber or someone who's seen my channel before, you've seen my dog Butch on multiple videos. So. I miss him and, you know, he's in my heart still. <laughs> so that's why I haven't been here for a while. Sorry for almost breaking down. Um, So I decided to just kind of have a little fun this month and I wanted to bleach a design into my sweatpants. Um, I've seen this trend going around for a while and I was like, hey, I want to do it myself. I got these nice pair of comfortable black sweatpants and they just needed a little, you know, something to them. So this is what I did. So these are the sweatpants that I want to do design in. Probably better if I can put them on and show you. Um, they are extremely comfortable. I got them at Walmart for like $11. They're very cute, but kind of wanted to design on them. So I started gathering supplies. Everyone said to put a piece of cardboard in the design so it doesn't get messy. And here's all the stuff I'm going to use. First I was going to do it in the sun, but then I was like, it's too hot. So I'm going to move up here. So the first design I was going to do was the sun on the hip, and it was a little difficult to draw on the pants just because like the fabric kept moving around, and I was stupid, and I didn't like put the cardboard in there to like have a flatter surface to do it on, but hey, you live and you learn. And then I started on the moon. And that one was a whole lot more difficult than the sun because of how the curve just like went around the knee and since I was doing a crescent one and I suck at drawing crescents and there's my dog Misty, I miss. Um, the crescent is just like difficult for me to do. I don't know why, I can just never draw a crescent. But I persevered and I got it done. Kind of. So I have it all drawn out, and I'm ready to start. I'm not sure if I really like the design or not, but I'll probably change it up as I'm painting the bleach on there. So like I said, you want to put the cardboard in between the leg, just so like the bleach doesn't bleed through on the fabric and like mess up the design that you want. And I got like one of my really old brushes to use in the bleach. Because as you will see later on, the bleach eats the brushes. So if you want to do this, I recommend having more than four brushes. I would use like, I don't know, 10 because it eats through the brush very, very fast. So as you can see here, I kind of changed up the design a little bit. I decided to go with like the natural flame and then like that spike flame that you see on the sun sometimes. I just thought that I would like that better, so I was taking a bit of a risk by just bleaching it into the pants instead of like drawing it on first. But I think that looks pretty good myself. And yeah, that's what happened to my brush. Completely gone. And now is the moon. And as I was drawing the bleach on the moon, I kind of saw that I made an oopsie in my design, but like there was no going back. The bleach was already on, so I just had to live with it. And 
I live by this life policy. If you make an oopsie, you just make it part of the design. Okay, it makes it more unique. And other people say it was a mistake. I'm going to say it was a creative hiccup on my part. brushes or clean them after every use. Actually just have more brushes. After letting bleach sit for about an hour, I went and I put them in the wash for 15 minutes and then after they were done I put them in the dryer for 15 minutes and then boom, here they are. At first I was really happy with how they turned out but then I kept looking back at the moon. I was like, I don't know if I like that orange color. The orange kind of matches the sun because it has that fiery look to it, but the moon just looks a little, you know, sick. So I was like, how am I going to fix this? So I decided after my shift at work, I went over to the Michaels right beside me and I found some fabric paint. I finally decided on like a kind of iridescent silver and gold. I was like, hey, this, is, this might just work out. So here we go, take two. Now we gotta paint it on. And painting it was kind of hard because I didn't know if I should use the brush or if I should smush it with my finger. And then day three comes around, it's raining. So I had to go to my room and the lighting in my room is horrible. So I'm so sorry about that. And I was like, okay, let's paint the sun a little. The gold did not have that much effect on the sun, but it was okay. I kind of like the uh, sparkly it put in it. So after five hours of the paint drying, I put it back in the wash, put it on cold as the instructions said, and after 20 minutes of them washing, boom, there are my pants. And the gold, like I said, you can't really see on the sun, but the silver really came out on the moon, and I was like super happy about that. So yeah, this has been me bleaching a design into my pants. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you do decide to bleach some designs, please be careful since bleach will eat your skin literally and just have fun with it. If you have a design, you mess it up. Who cares? It's your design. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. And until then, stay safe out there.